every year UNESCO celebrates the World Philosophy uh, on the third Thursday of, of November. And this year, we make a small but very important beginning in Bangalore where we join in these celebrations. We as a School of Philosophy are celebrating it this year with a panel discussion on the greatest journey of all, uh, which is philosophy. Uh, the panel discussion again aims to showcase how philosophy can be a way of life, where we can connect to values and ethics, and uh, we, should, we bring this out through the lives of our eminent panelists, and we they'll share about how they actually live the philosophy that we talk about. If we remain alert and keep asking questions like, where am I? Where am I going? Why am I going there? Or even who am I? Then you are getting out of the anesthesia of habit. You are questioning your existence and you are practicing philosophy. But philosophy is more about questioning your life than explaining your life. And to do that, you have to step outside yourself so you can look back at yourself to examine your life. And the primary method for this is conversation. There is no equivalent word for dharma in English. In Sanskrit itself, we have the definition for this word dharma called dharanat dharma ityahuhu. Dharana, that which holds everything in its proper order, a system. That is dharma. That means everything is sustained in the universe because of this principle called dharma. The great physicist uh, Niels Bohr, one of the founders of quantum physics, <clears throat> he made a statement. One of his colleagues uh, told him, Professor Bohr, you are like God. And Professor Bohr said, no, 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 I am only the Pope. Einstein is God. ago when I was a part of an acting school, theatre school, it was a, a part of the study that every one of us need to pick up an instrument and learn. Not only expressing through body language, voice, words, but also through music. Philosophy, which is based on human values, uh, all of them were mentioned uh, by Professor Mangala. And I think when uh, a corporate training and a non-governmental training is based on these values, uh, the philosopher will be born. So it's not automatic. Uh, automatically, each one is potentially, yes, each one is potentially a philosopher. The circle of people that we interact with is to, um, to deliver education philosophical, ethical education that uh, will be able to, um, in the future, to put the seeds and uh, I uh, uh, again connect to uh, what the, the, the word seeds that was used in one of the previous uh, presentations and to put the seeds for better leaders, better politicians, better scientists, better artists the ability to, uh, to work with a teacher that helps us to, uh, to be a little bit uh, relieved from the grip of uh, uh, the materialism and uh, uh, then to uh, stand up and uh, start uh, taking uh, responsibility. <laughs> For hundreds of years, philosophy and science and religion uh, took separate paths Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have lost a lot of time because of the distance between philosophy, science, art, politics, and religion.